IMC Chapter 5 Flashcards Flashcard number 1 A marketing approach suggesting that a consumer moves through a series of six steps when becoming convinced to make a purchase. First, awareness. Second, knowledge. Third, liking. Fourth, preference. Five, conviction. And six, the actual purchase. A marketing approach suggesting that a, cost, a consumer moves through a series of six steps when becoming convinced to make a purchase. One, awareness. Two, knowledge. Three, liking. Four, preference. Five, conviction. Conviction. And six, the actual purchase. That is called hierarchy of defects model. Hierarchy of defects model or hierarchy of effects model. Good. Second flashcards. When an audience avoids a marketing communications message. When an audience avoids a marketing communications message. That is selective exposure. Selective exposure. Flashcard number three. An advertisement approach in which the message contains a means a reasoning or mental process to lead the consumer to a desired end state, such as a key personal value. An advertisement approach in which the message contains, contains a means to lead the consumer to a desired end state, such as a key personal value. That's means and chain. Meets, means and chain. Me, means and chain. Okay. Number four. A model of interpreting how an audience processes marketing communications messages. A model for interpreting how an audience processes marketing communications messages. That is, elaboration likelihood model. Elaboration likelihood model. A model of, for interpreting how an audience processes marketing communication messages. Number five. The document used to articulate the creative strategy containing five key questions. Who are we talking to? What is the objective? What is the one thing we are trying to tell them? Why should they believe us? When and where are we telling them? The document used to articulate the creative strategy containing five key questions. Who are we talking to? What is the objective? What is the one thing we're trying to tell them? Why should they believe us? When and where are they telling them? That is, creative brief. The creative brief. Number six. An advertising approach that suggests using five elements in creating ads. One, the product's attributes. Second, consumer beliefs. Third, leverage points for personal values. And five, the executional framework. An advertising approach that suggests using five elements in creating ads. One, the product's attributes. Second, consumer beliefs. beliefs. Three, leverage points. Four, personal values. And five, the executional framework. That is means and conceptual conceptualization of components for advertising strategies. It's called MECAS or MECAS. Means and conceptualization, conceptualization of four. Means and conceptual conceptualization of components for advertising strategies, strategy, makers. Good. Let's move on. Flashcard number seven. Audience persuasion that occurs when, even when an audience is not actively processing a marketing communications message. Audience persuasion 
that occurs even when an audience is not actively processing a marketing communications message. That is low involvement persuasion. Low involvement persuasion. Number eight, when an audience is exposed to a message but chooses not to pay attention. When an audience is exposed to a message but chooses not to pay attention. That is selective attention. Selective attention. Number nine, audience processing of a message that focuses on cues such as, po uh, such as box people images in or colors. Audience processing of a message that focuses on cues such as spoke people, images or colors. That's called peripheral root of persuasion. Peripheral root of persuasion. Number 10. Audience processing of a message that uses arguments or information presented in the message. Audience processing of a message that uses arguments for or information presented in the message. That is central root of persuasion. Central root of persuasion. Number 11. When an audience fails to properly comprehend the message in marketing communications. When an audience fails to properly comprehend the message in marketing communication, that is selective comprehension. Selective comprehension. Number 12. When an audience fails to retain information presented in a marketing communications message, when an audience fails to retain information presented in a marketing communications message. That is selective retention. Selective retention. Number 13. 